Do you know when I look down, I see this gas bubble, the entire circle of it? Um, days before, I didn't see the complete circle, but now I am. And it is intense. Um, part of it is I'm really happy that I'm seeing the entire circle because that means it's getting smaller and smaller. Uh, and that's a good thing. That means that I'm seeing more and more out of my right eye. This gas bubble is, is so intense. You know, now I'm starting to see colors like around the edge, it's like a blue. Um, and then there's like a little, it's like, um, burnt, burnt sienna kind of smoky kind of look to it. And then I can actually see through the bubble. But what is even more intense is when I close my eye, I still see the bubble. That is crazy. Today is day 31 and this is my daily update. I'm glad you joined me here today. Um, I wanted to share just the aspect of how incredible our eyes are, well, all the different parts of our bodies and what it can do, but specifically the eyes and way it, it interprets what it sees and how, you know, we, we are able to distinguish one thing from another. It's also really interesting how when we look at what's going on in the world, and we see it through our eyes, it, it seems like there's no end to the unrest that is going on. So it's like, while I'm thinking about sight in my eye, I'm also thinking about what I'm seeing going on all around us as well. Which brings me to the healing art. Um, earlier this week, I was having a, a tough time emotionally. Every now and then I, I, I dip into these moments where I'm like, I'm not healing fast enough. I want to get back to work. I feel stagnant. But I also know that life, my God, this circumstance is, is slowing, forcing me to slow down, to reset, to set the reset. And um, so by creating art, which I believe art can heal, um, it has been very healing for me. I worked on that one piece. Now I showed two pieces. One was unfinished and the other one I think was a finished, but not sure. So, but when I look at it today, I haven't touched it today. It, it's, it's looking even more vibrant and bright, vibrant as we go along. So I'm going to show you that one. And then I'm going to show you the one that I've been working on um, to essentially pray for more um, peace and that we're able to come together. So this one was about how I was feeling about where I am today. You know, this sort of like autumn approaching, everything on fire, things dying and almost like leaves falling from a tree and that um, there would be like a dormant stage. But then spring would come and everything would be beautiful. So there is a time and a season for everything. Um, I know that there's a shift happening and it's time for change. I really, really do believe that. Which brings me to looking at and dealing with the unrest that's going on in our communities, in our country, and that I believe, I imagine, I see this this community, our community, uh, our human race as a whole, um, uplifting ourselves to, to a higher consciousness where we see each of our counterparts um, as equal, that all lives matter, black, brown, I hate to say yellow and all of that, but I just mean no matter what your skin color, we are all the same. We are of one human race. Our blood is the same color that flows through us. 
we, you know, generally we pretty much, you know, function the same. It's just our cultures. Uh, maybe our language is different. You know, maybe we're raised in different parts, geographical locations, but we all breathe air, the same air. And so I, here's what I'm still working on, but I believe that the more we unite and bring light into a situation, the better things will be. And that's where I am right now. We have the potential to be better than we were yesterday. I hope we will get there. Thank you for joining me. And as always, love, light, and most of all, joy in your heart.